Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. As you look in my, I've got in my hand, I've got a floodlight. Now, I've actually got 13 floodlights, but that's not the point. Thanks to Xhedra, I've figured out how to make these again. And how to make the torches. Now, I'll, show, I'll demonstrate that because he already demonstrated, but just in case you didn't see that episode, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, we need to make some, let's get rid of this, to need that. So let's make some wood planks. I just need to do one piece of this. Torches. Four, that'll do. So now we just need some coal. And that makes a Minecraft torch. When I take that into my inventory, like this, Is that a Minecraft torch tool? Oh, that's very interesting. It shouldn't be. Let's put that up there and put, type in torch. So I've got 16 Galactic Craft torch and 12 Minecraft. If I put another one of these in here, that goes into the Minecraft torch, not the Galactic Craft torch. If I take some out here, put that back in there, then it's still going to Minecraft. I'm confused. I don't understand that because normally when you maybe it goes into your hotbar let's just try that so if I put this down to my hotbar it becomes a Galacticraft torch so if you put it into your inventory it doesn't if you put it into your hotbar it becomes Galacticraft so that's it so that was the problem. So then with these torches, of course, you can make another floodlight as simply as doing a recipe for that. And we get floodlights again. So there you are, something new. Now, what we're gonna do in this episode, I hope, is to make a refinery. Now, the only problem I've got with the refinery at the moment is I need to make, uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, I've got 36 diamonds, great. I need 36 diamonds to make a refinery plus that's just what we're going to do next. I think we need that for a rocket fuel. I'm not 100% sure. And I also need some glass. Well, I suppose the easiest way to make, well, the cheapest way to make glass is in the pulverizer. Just by simply pulverizing um, cobblestone. So let's, pul let's pulverize cobblestone. It's like, uh, for how much is it? I'm trying to figure it out. You get two stacks for one obsidian as compared to one piece of glass. So you tell me which is cheapest so that's that bit done and I need to smelt that down now the only place you can smelt down glass of course is in the redstone furnace what else we need oh, I want to get rid of those stuff from that chest over there so we can carry on making the stuff so what have we got in here 36 I'm just clearing out the cup this one what have we got plenty of stuff coming through here actually it's the diamonds I really wanted so from that 10,000, I've just about got 36 diamonds. <laughs> hmm. Chances are not very good, are they? So there we are. Let's put these into here like that. In fact, I don't need these at the moment. And I, I'm going to keep these because we want that. So from this cobblestone, if I put this into the redstone furnace like that, we'll, we'll start to get some glass. So we've got 36 in there and 16 here. Let's take those, put those into there. Because I increased it. The secondary chance I'm getting plenty of dust as well, so I'll let that go through. And while that's going through, let's go and get the machine I want to upgrade. I want to go upgrade this phytogenic isolator, or whatever it's called. This one. Phytogenic isolator. And we also need to make some um, glass, and we also need to make... That's the other thing I'm trying to do, isn't it? Doing two things at once, that just makes life confusing. So I want to upgrade this to harden. So for that I need some Enderium blend. And for Enderium blend I need the silver, platinum and tin. So we need some, let's have a look what we've got in here. Silver ingots, let's take 21 of those. Let's take some platinum, which is, we haven't got any platinum, uh, shiny. We've got lead here, I don't really want that in there. Oh, I do actually want that in there. I needed that for another chest, didn't I? Shiny, we'll just take nine of those. 
and tin. I don't have any tin. I have to make some tin. Let's go and get some tin on the go as well. Um, tin is this one. I need some tin ingots. What have we got in here? Iron ingots. Okay, that'll do fine. Let's just fill it up with tin. Ah, that's already tin, isn't it? I think I was in the process of doing this and I hadn't actually triggered it to go. So let's let that make a few tin ingots. Actually, I could let it make a lot of tin ingots, can't I? So we'll get nine of these. Actually, we need, we'd need 18 if I was going to be consistent. But I don't need to make that many. So tin, and the other one is ender pearls. We need to decompose some ender pearls. Now, fortunately, this because I've upgraded this thing here, ender pearls go through quite quickly now, which is great. So we need um, four of these. We basically need four. So what have I got in here? I've got silver and platinum and tin. Actually, probably maybe I've already prepared this to some extent. So let's get this recipe going for... That was plutonium. Let's get the book out. I've probably got a recipe in the book. It may off a bit easier, won't it? Have I got Enderium blend in here? Oh, I have. Great. So let's put that into there like that. So what do we need? Silver tin. Yep, that's fine. So that's basically going to make four. I think it's going to make eight. So let's take eight ender pearls and decompose those. Put that into here like that, and then we should be able to make that. We should get eight enderium blend. Fantastic. Ignore that because that's rubbish. And lead will put in there for the time being. Okay. Phew. Right. So now, enderium blend plus we have to make the rest of it. Let me just get rid of this stuff I don't need with me. Oh, I need a bucket of tin to put that away somewhere. I want the red stone. What I'm doing there is I'm actually this is part of the the stuff that we need for. Um, the refinery but I'm going to do this phytogenic isolator first in fact I'll stop making tin ingots now turn that one off put it back over here like this so we've got the right consistency there and take out that and it'll make a few more tin ingots which is fine I still can't get through doors maybe I should break that a bit wider so I'll put the stone away and so we need some Enderium. So we need this one. So all we need to do is put this in the assembly table with some 10 pyrothium dust. And that will give me one ingot. Okay, so I need some more pyrothium dust. So that's coal powder, sulfur and redstone and blaze powder. So blaze powder, we've got plenty of blaze rods. Let's take about four of these. Oh. Actually, we'll take eight. No, man. We won't make any shortages of these. So let's put those in the decomposer and come along here, clear this recipe off. Ah, uh, what have we got in here? Decompose plutonium, that's the one I want. This is just one in the top corner there, and that'll give me 48 blaze rods, uh, blaze powders. And that should be enough to make four enderium blends, as long as I've got enough sulfur and like the stuff like that. So let's try this again. 64 fantastic that'll give me what else can I make uh, those 12 80 that's perfect and then we can go along here like this put those into that I've already got some made haven't I no, I didn't get the enderium blend out of here did I what to do with it oh maybe you'd I did make that, didn't I? Enderium blend. Oh, look, there we are. Whoops. So we can put that down here like that. And then we should be able to make some Enderium ingots. But we should get eight of those. So that's pretty good. So we'll just wait for those. In fact, we won't wait for those because we'll carry on over here and get those 36 diamonds out for the refinery. I've got 37 now. And all of this. And let the metals go. So what else do we need to put these carbon in here? Actually, that's not the best place to put the carbon. Let's go and put it in the right place. 
been a while since I played actually to be honest with you because therefore I've forgotten loads of bits and pieces let's clear that off so what we need oh no I'll keep the mind can book on me so what we need for this is the refinery here so 128 glass redstone okay 24 iron 24 gold and 36 diamonds let's get that out there not bad up it doesn't matter if you got more by the way so the only other thing we need is iron we just need the glass now 128 glass and then we'll be able to complete a quest which is always a good thing 47 and dust 29 i put that in there we'll get the rest of these coming through so we just basically need two stacks let's put that away in I don't know why I've got these two chests I must have got them for a reason or other so with it now these will have been finished eight fantastic so with that we can make an enderium gear so we want one of these like that and now we can actually upgrade this one so let's look for the uses of that and that's the one we need, just silver ingots. Now we have a resonant pyro pyro pyrogenic isolator. And we also need a speed upgrade, which I already made. Really straightforward, actually, these ones. They're not too difficult. The recipe for that is just some pyrothium dust and some ender pearls. And gold and the redstone reception gold, which isn't not really a problem. So let's come back over here and um, put this back in again. What I should have got is a bucket of water because I removed the bucket of water so I could remove the device here. So we want to put that in there, that in there. I think that's right around. We can then put this augment in here and go and get a bucket of water. In fact, we might as well get some more pyro, pyro grow as well. Oops. This one, we get a stack of that. And we need a bucket of water. Have I got a bucket with me? No. Just let water push it through. Take the bucket and off we go again. You just, if you can hear that, there was some more laser fire from below as it happens. So put that into there. Come along here, put the bucket of water in there. And this thing should start to work. And it should start to work reasonably fast now. Yes, it is. Look at the speed of that. Which is actually really good because it's been so slow. It does actually make it sort of usable now. Anyway, so next thing. We need that glass and then we can complete that quest. 64. So we've got 128. So I think we've got enough to make the refinery. Which of course we're making this workbench plus thing over here like this. Um, what do we want? Obsidian anvils redstone glass two sets of glass we need 128 iron gold and um, 36 diamonds and then we can make a refinery plus like that and that'll just click through whatever we get left we'll put away into the thing while that's doing that let's go and um, get let's go and put this book away over, over here so we don't want that let's take out what we can from here got another diamond some coal Give that a sort. Water's a, ice is quite rare as well as it happens. I'm not sure what we've got. Let's take some gold and some copper out of here, and let's go fill it up the chest to get these converted to ores. Oh, that's actually already empty. My goodness, that was fast as it happens because I've upgraded this already, so now it goes pretty fast. As well as I'm preparing the episode, I actually had already done that. So let's have a look. Let's put away some stuff in here. I don't want. I shall keep the bucket. Actually, I'll keep a bucket of water in that. That. Put the grow up here and the silver ingots. 
I'll leave the chest in there. I'm not sure where I've got the chest. I'm going to be honest with you. I have a reason for it and I've forgotten completely what it was. So, what have we got in here? Take all the non-iron recipe items out of here. Gold. Oops, that was iron. Doesn't matter. Let's take that. Let's put everything in this chest. Like that, and that'll come through. And as you can see from the speed of this, it's going really fast now with these three speed upgrades. Power consumption, of course, has increased, but power is less than one of our lower problems or a small problem at the moment. Right, I wanted to check this one. Nearly done. We'll have one diamond left and we'll have some, yep. We'll do fine and we'll have the refinery plus. Let's put these away. And let's have a look at our quest. Detect. And we get XP. Done. So that's the end of this particular uh, improvement right, so that we can do. Of course we can repeat these. So if I want a second uh, uh, meow then that's no big deal so let's by the way let's come out of here and put the refinery down I don't know what I, how to use this yet I've got to look it up so I'm going to put the refinery down here with all the things I need to figure out the best the best use it's for but I know it's for making um rocket fuel but before I get to rocket fuel I've got quite a long way to go so I wanted to get rid of the XP, I knew I was doing something sensible. Good. So, let's have a look. Is there, are there any more quests that we can do at this time? Oh, Transcendence, no take flight. I don't think we can do this one because we can't make that. Crystallize, that's. No, we can't. I've looked at that one before, nothing we can do in there. No descriptions. I think. Uh, Kathleen's got to do some work on that. So let's have a look. Just checking my. You see, this is actually generating quite a lot of power. And it's filling this up. So we've already got 8.9 or nearly 9 billion there. And this, we should have plenty of uh, cobblestone we created. So I got here 61. Oh, and it stopped. What's it stopped on? Interesting. Well, it's got plenty of cobblestone in there. That's completely full. It's going down there, so that's still taking stuff out. And this should be pushing cobblestone into here. Oh, yes, it is. Look. So these are all triple compressed cobblestone. Now, if we want, I want to make a bedrock in, in Ingot. I think that was one of the quests. That's six quadruple and we got eight of those so oh that's a block of diamonds isn't it that's not going to be so easy let's have a look how we're doing for our diamonds I think we've got one in here and we've got two or three in this side over here nearly nearly empty oh we've got six in here so that's good and two in here Let's get that cleared out again. It's just a. I need to find a way to get this up, up as well, so we can get this a bit better. Hmm. I mean, what I'm trying to say is, I want to get a lot of this stuff out of it. Let's take the iron out of there like that. It looks like it's. It's working fairly fast. We could take those diamonds. Nope, can't take those diamonds. Let's go and get this stuff put into this okay, uh, chest. Hopefully there's room for it now. Yes, there is. Look. 
as you can see that's generally getting rid of those fairly uh, faster than it's being produced so what I need is a way to transfer those stuff that stuff from here out into that and that basically means I need some more uh, glass cables I think what have we got in here I can get rid of those diamonds now and that and the slack and then it should be able to be keeping up with this no problem so that gives me enough diamonds to make a one ingot bedrockium ingot so we'll look at that one so I've done that one I've done the refinery I've done photo photo grow and I've done the augments and I've done the enderium uh, I'm not sure about that one and the fuel drum so let's have a look at bedrock basically we can make one of these so we need one of these like this any type of diamonds one block of diamonds will do fine and then we should be able to do the bedrock even I think that's right so I think it's triple compressed quadruple compressed and triple compressed then we get a bedrock in ingot of course this becomes heavy and I think there's a quest for this so let's have a look where is it now elements here we go detect and claim so now we get some stuff for the uh, for the routers so let's do that one and done and next one we have to make is a bedrockium drum which we can do because the recipe for that isn't too difficult and a bedrockium faceplate large plate basically that becomes tinker's construct i think you get 10 xp and a loot chest that's that's good and this one here we get some titanium dioxide and another oh that's a good one fluid storage cell but this requires a recipe for that one so look at that bedrockium drum i think i have to go back to the first page this one gold plates no big deal because that's no deal. six of these though it's going to be like uh six nines 54 oh, i got my Ruth, yep 54 um diamonds that's going to take a while to get that everything ready for that but in the meantime let's put this stuff away now what you do with these these item routers things like this you take them to your to the machine you want to upgrade oh we've only got two so it's no and we shift right click it like that and then it's bandwidth installed and shift right click it again and then you get the machine filter installed and then it has a different interface if we look at that now you'll see you've got machine filter so you can filter different machines it's connected to and a bandwidth so it transfers a stack at a time we've already got redstone con control which i think is the default um let's have a look on this one over here yes you see you get these two so i'm going to put the other two on here because i've got no other uses for them like that for the time being and then we get some more automation going so it's not going to be a very long episode this time I don't think but what I also would like to do is I would like to get on to doing a rocket now the rocket is quite tough actually so we need a tier 2 rocket like this one like this tier, that's tier 1 I need a tier 2 rocket this one no, tier 1 again it's the same color that's creative pre-fuel this one so for that we need one nose cone four fins tier tier one boosters one rocket engine and 10 heavy plates now let's have a look at those nose cone heavy duty plates tier two and tier one this one is made from tier tier one plus 64 steel plates this one is made from six just one of these is made from 64 refined iron plates bronze plates and aluminium plates and that's basically another 32 put through the, the metal former twice which is going to take a very long time to do and we need at least we need two of those to start with just for that one component there the fins they're just as bad so we need another uh, two each for that so that's another um, eight so that's ten plus ten here plus this one here and we need two of these that we said another 12 
14 and these now these are the ones which are also going to be a pain because we need insulated copper now that to make this isn't a problem you got that in here but the rubber to make the rubber we've got to basically get rubber from industrial craft there doesn't seem to be any other way to do it really this one here and to make this we have to mine chem it seems to be the only way to do it and basically this is just carbon and carbon and hydrogen so the best way for carbon and hydrogen is from cellulose so we basically need to get some cellulose and decompose it and it also costs five million rf so it's not the cheapest of things to make so what i'm going to do for that we need a couple of decomposers because we need to decompose wood and that's why i've upgraded this you'll see that's already now it's already upgraded and um i wonder can i feed into that and oh, now i can't do an me interface yet i don't think if i could feed into this the um photograph photograph would be much better off but anyway this is the way we get the cellulose from here so i need to decompose the wood to cellulose and then decompose the cellulose to carbon and hydrogen and oxygen and then take that and process out so that's a, lot of, that's a lot of stuff isn't it let's take the oxygen tank my oxygen tank's bound to be empty it is oops not going there with it try again third time lucky I'll put this one down through here and push it into there like that oops what have i just pressed pressed the wrong button so i hope you've enjoyed this episode uh and i'll see you next time hopefully we'll um start getting on with the process of automating the uh, rubber production so until then bye for now